Hello, I'm John Colley from Trotec Laser Canada. Today we're going to talk about tables for the various machines. So to begin with, we'll talk about the Speedy 360 and Speedy 400 systems. The table options for both units are exactly the same, so we can look at the cross-section of the different tables that are available here. The majority of our customers that have purchased Speedy 400s and 360s have only bought one or possibly two tables. So the point of this video is to show you the different specific tables that can help you with various other processes. So we'll start by talking about the grid table for the 400 and 360 models. Before we install it, we have to always remember to put in the support bars. This prevents the grid table from flexing downwards when we put heavier objects on it or whenever there's vacuum pressure. Once the bars are in, the table just sits on top. And we push in the little latch buttons. The primary application for the grid table is cutting and engraving thin substrates where vacuum hold down is not required. The next table we'll talk about is the vacuum table. The vacuum table also has support brackets, so they have to be put in first. And once the supports are in, we can just drop the table in on top. The vacuum table is used for engraving on substrates that need to be held flat. So the vacuum from your exhaust system will suck down the material flat to the table. So if it tends to curl up without the vacuum table, the vacuum table will hold it down flat. It's always important to make sure that the entire table area is covered, otherwise you'll lose your vacuum through the uncovered holes. This is the aluminum slap kit. There are slats that go in throughout the table to support the material. And then the other bars here are covers for the top, bottom, and sides so that you maintain a flat surface for vacuum flow. The slat table is primarily for cutting through thicker materials where you want to avoid uh, bounce back. The vertical bars also allow for best exhaust flow uh, as you're cutting. These are the border elements to bring the rest of the base frame up to the same level as the slats, so you don't scratch the material when you put it in the, into the table. Now that we have the border in place, it will prevent us from scratching the back side of the material as we slide it into the table. If you're cutting through thicker materials and you're still having back reflections, you can actually remove slats in the area where the back reflection is occurring. And when the piece cuts out, it'll just fall down onto the main base frame table. The acrylic slat table has slats that are exactly the same dimensions as the aluminum slats. The bonus of them is that when they're in, they don't back reflect any laser energy at all. So you get perfect cuts. The downside is though they are consumable, so they need to be replaced. So moving on to the 360, we'll go to the ferromagnetic table. It's also available for the 400. We just have one available here for the 360 to show. The ferromagnetic table doesn't require any bars. We just put it directly into the table base frame. The ferromagnetic table is uh, the most durable for handling heavier items. Because it's ferromagnetic, you can use magnets to hold down thin substrates like uh, paper or fabrics. And it also has the best table flatness, so it's the ideal table for any fiber applications. The ferromagnetic table is great for engraving trillase thins and trillase lights. Before engraving, make sure you remove the plastic covering. Next, we're going to move back to the 300. This is the honeycomb table, and it's available for all Rayjet and Speedy series systems. Similar to the aluminum grid table, the honeycomb table is meant for engraving and cutting thin substrates. The honeycomb table is reversible, so it can be set in the machine with the inch rulers up, or with the centimeter metric rulers up as well. After some years of use, the honeycomb tables get a lot of residue on the, uh, the honeycomb portion, and they also become damaged just by routinely bringing heavier objects in and out of them. So this is why we recommend it for thinner objects only. One test you can do to see if your table should be replaced is taking a straight edge and checking to see if you have any gap 
where the table started to sag. Another reason to replace your table is if the honeycomb itself has a buildup of residue on it that's causing flame ups when you're doing cuts. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.